in the community stroke team, I'm an occupational therapist. I've been involved with Norman for the last year since he had a stroke. Um, I've been involved quite heavily with him and probably for a bit longer than I normally would be involved with someone. Norman first came out of hospital, he had very complex visual and perceptual issues after his stroke which made, meant it was very difficult for him to process his environment and you know, even recognising shapes and objects were very difficult for him so getting around his home, managing his personal care and um, you know, cooking for himself were all difficult for him. Um, equally when he was out um, you know, going to the local shop, crossing the road was unsafe for him because he was ignoring things to the left and the right of him. with the older people's team and Norman was referred to us by the community stroke team um, in the initial stages. Um, at the beginning we, we set up a package of care, a traditional package of care um, to help Norman with um, making sure he gets his medications and his meals and um, that sort of thing because he was having a lot of difficulty even managing the dial and the microwave. Um, so the carers went in and helped him with his tablets and his medications and, and made sure he was okay with getting washed and dressed. Um, so that was the initial package that started. Um, what we find, what we find was that really that it, after a while Norman became more independent with support from the stroke team and also from sensory support in terms of putting some um, stickers around the dials and his microwave and things like that. So with support he became more independent and he didn't really need the care services anymore so we gradually reduced those um, on Norman's request until he was at the stage where he was fully independent after the first stroke. Um, so when he had his second stroke and was referred back to us we offered the same package of care but at that stage he was still independent with those things and he didn't, he didn't need or want any help with medications or meals um, so we found that the traditional service wasn't, wasn't going to work in this case. Norman's overall vision had improved greatly over the course of the year. Um, he had some new issues with his memory, but he has very, very specific difficulties with reading. He would refer to it as acquired dyslexia, so it left him very vulnerable with things like post coming in, um, having to respond, and and you know um, even making telephone calls. Um, you know, quoting reference numbers, he needed a lot of support and at that time I was providing that support and um, you know, we found that we really needed to be visiting regularly. Through, through SDS, well, I, I'd, I'd explained direct payments to Norman <clears throat> as well as the time we were explaining the traditional services, but with direct payments he would have had to identify someone to employ himself and and he just found that the whole process would have been too much for him and it would have been hard to recruit staff so that's where um, self-directed support came in and I suppose with Veronica's guidance we were able to um, explain to Norman that we could actually use an agency to identify someone to support him um, because the traditional care services weren't, weren't going to provide this um, so that's when Veronica helped us to link up with Mayor's Care um, after we agreed funding with the Trust in order to provide Norman his own budget to be managed by the agency. After Norman's recent stroke, I had discussed with him whether he would consider moving somewhere more supported, but his preference is to stay at home and through self-directed support, you know, we're able to give him the support that he needs to remain independent. We, the package, um, <clears throat> it hasn't quite started yet in terms of support. Uh, Norman currently still has a befriending service, um, but that's going to be a short-term service. We have spoke to Norman uh, in depth about self-directed support, and what he is saying at the minute is, is he, he is so grateful to know that there's something there for him long-term, that there's that security of knowing there's going to be somebody there um, once or twice a week to help with all the basic things that you and I would take for granted. Mm -hmm.